Hello, welcome to uh, the instruction of Buddha Wheel according to the initial scope of Lamrim meditation and practice. So, basically, looking at karma um, and refuge in Buddha's teachings, the teaching of the Wheel of Life, which was an image created by Buddha, and awareness of uncontrolled circumstances and rebirth. These instructions will be uh, quite slow, so if you feel free to learn the game from the instructions that are in the game, that are provided with the game, or do some breathing meditation during the slow bits. So Buddha Wheel is uh, designed around minds, working with the mind. And so the cards are of two types, main, two main types, uh, happy face cards, positive cards, and negative cards, sad face cards, which you can see from the icons on the top. On the bottom of the cards, there's also some other icons which help to understand the causes that card creates, so what happens with the cards when you have them. So the Wheel of Life has six realms, we have six sides of the dice, so they correspond to the dice with from the lowest realm to the highest realm. One, hell being, two, hungry ghost, three, animal, four, human, five, demigod, and six, god. So let's throw the dice, two, so we're going to be a hungry ghost first. So looking at the Hungry Ghost Realm, what we do is we throw the dice and we count along the squares. We pick up a card. Okay, so this is a negative card, a sad face, and um, we're going to just put it down to the sides to start a pile of our own cards. And then everyone else has their go, or we can play by ourselves. Throw the dice again, move again, pick up another card. So this is a happy card, you can see with the smile, smiley face. Uh, again, what we do is we put it on top of our other card, so we end up bringing up a pile of cards, a pile of minds, or a pile of karma. Again, throw the dice. An epileptic moment. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> okay, so this is a sad card, an un a negative card. Again, we put it on top of our pile. So, in order to speed things up so we can just explain, let's um, put the piece a bit further on. Imagine we've picked up the cards. and look at what happens when we reach the end of our hungry ghost life. So throw the dice. We landed on the skull. Death! When we die, we look at our pile of cards and the last card we picked up shows us where we're going next where we're going to take rebirth. So we can see from this one, it's got a little flower at the bottom. That's the icon for the God Realm. So we go to the God Realm and we give in that card. We, we, so we, we put it to the bottom of the pack. We don't have it anymore. It created that rebirth. In the God Realm, we don't throw the dice. We go one square at a time. And there aren't any cards. What we do is we make up something that would be heavenly for us. Or if we were a god, what we were experiencing. For example, this one. <laughs> yes, that's an example. Okay, so then we wait for everyone else to have their go. Then we have our go. We move one square. We landed on a blue flame. To stay in the god realm, when you land on a blue flame, you need to give in a smiley card, a happy card. 
So we look on our pile and we do have one. There it is. So we have to give that up, uh, put that back into where it belongs and we make up another dot realm. Okay, next go. We landed on a blue flame. To stay in the God Realm, we'd need to give in a card, but we don't have any more positive cards, happy cards. So we die. And we look at the bottom of our card to see where we're going next. We're going to, uh, that's the hell icon. So we're going to hell next. So we take our piece there and we give in that card. Which means currently we have no cards. So in the Hell Realm, again, no dice, one square at a time. And there aren't any cards either, so we make up something that would be hellish for ourselves. Like this. Or we can go a bit more traditional if we like, because people make up all sorts of different Hells. Like that one, that's more traditional. <laughs> So I'll go one square. We land on a red flame, but we don't have any cards. So that means we have to go back to the beginning and back into the middle of the Wheel of Life. And we will need to throw the dice like we did at the beginning to find out where we go next. Okay, let's do that. Three, animal. So, in the animal realm, we throw the dice. And we pick up a card. Ah, a happy card, a smiley card. So we hold on to that. And we have let everyone else have their go, or if we're on our own, we just have our next go, next go. Another card. <gasps> untimely death. Okay, so when we die, when we get untimely death, we just die there and then. Um, we put the card away, we look to see where we're going next and we've got one card, look, and it's got a little farmer icon, that's the human icon. So we give in that card and we take our piece to the human realm. Okay, so in the human realm we throw the dice and we pick up a card dedication this card will be featured in video 2 so we won't look at what it does now apart from the fact that you can see from the little arrow at the bottom it's one of the ones that you put straight back to the bottom of the pack when you pick it up Okay, so this is a sad card and you can see from the bottom that it's one that would take us to the hungry ghost realm. So for the sake of this video, let's just imagine that we come to the end of the human life now and it takes us to the hungry ghost realm. That's like throwing karma, throws us into a rebirth. Okay. Card. Oh, hang on, we've been here before, haven't we? <laughs> so, 
I think by now you get the gist of how the reincarnation happens around the wheel. And this is taking refuge in Buddha's teachings to a certain extent, understanding the way it works. So, um, yeah, thank you for listening and watching. And uh, we'll make another video soon that will explore how to go further along the spiritual path and escape from the wheel of life. <laughs>